Across the centuries. Across the globe. Ordinary people who follow an extraordinary God. Hear the stories of how God changed people like you and me, and through them, changed the world. They are Game Changers. Do you ever find yourself wishing that you could go on an adventure? If you could go on any kind of adventure, what would it be? Hmm. An adventure to climb the highest mountain. An adventure in space. An adventure to try out a new cafe. Oh sorry, that was my idea of an adventure. Today's game changer is someone who set out on an adventure to a faraway land across the sea. Sounds exciting, right? But what if I told you that this man's adventure also involved sickness, prison and losing the people he loved the most? Why would anyone choose that kind of adventure? The man's name was Adoniram Judson and he was born in America in 1788. Growing up, Adoniram was a bit of a clever clogs, or so he thought. As a young man, one of his very clever friends persuaded him that he didn't need this old-fashioned Christianity. So Adoniram turned his back on God. But God had not turned his back on Adoniram. One night he was staying in an inn and was kept awake by the terrible sounds of a man wailing. The next day, Adoniram found out that the wailing man had died. Tragically, he also found out that the dead man was none other than his very clever friend. Yes, the very friend who had persuaded him to reject God. Well, Adoniram was greatly troubled that his friend had died and now faced God's judgment. He realised that he needed to become a friend of Jesus and that he wanted to spend the rest of his life telling people about him. Can you remember who first told you about Jesus? In a country far away called Burma, there was no one who knew about Jesus, no one to tell the people there about him. So Adoniram set out for Burma, ready to share the good news that God loved the Burmese people and wanted to rescue them. Adoniram was the first American to go abroad to do this work. The people of Burma spoke a different language, so Adoniram learnt it and translated the whole Bible into the Burmese language so that more people could hear God's good news. Adoniram kept going on this extremely difficult adventure. He was terribly ill, he was thrown into prison, his wife and some of his children even died. After six whole years of telling Burmese people about Jesus, one man finally became Jesus' friend. But by the time he died, Adoniram had spent 38 years in Burma and thousands of people had become Jesus' friends. So to Adoniram, the adventure that God picked for him was worth it. He had total confidence in God's promise that all the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations will bow down before him. Are you ready to be part of the greatest adventure? God is calling his people to tell the world his wonderful good news. Who do you know who needs to hear about Jesus? Jesus.